Okay, hello everyone, Louis here once again, and today I'm going to be making a quick tutorial to show you guys how to edit your characters on Terraria. So it's really quite simple and it's something a lot of people do know, but I do get this question quite a few times, maybe once a day, people just asking how I edited a character in a certain challenge we've done on our channel, or even on Odyssey Games video where they did the 1 HP challenge, lots of people were wondering how the hell they did it, but it's really quite simple. So the thing you're going to need is of course a copy of Terraria, and also a program called Terraria Viewer. Um, once you go on this website, there'll be a link to it in the description. Just go to this website and then click on this here. And just click on I agree and then it will start downloading. And it's as simple as that. And just find where exactly you downloaded it and put it wherever the hell you want. In my case, I've just put it on my desktop. It's not something you have to install. It just sits wherever you want and you just double click on it to open it. So once you put it wherever you want, you can just open it up. Once you've opened up, you'll get this little menu. It might have changed if you've got a newer version, but it probably will be quite similar. So you've got two options when you want to edit your inventory or edit your character. You can make a brand new character or you can open an existing character. In this case, I'm just going to use an existing character. So first I'm going to have to open up Troya. And let's see, I think I'll just make a fresh character just to show you exactly how it works. So we'll just leave that and make a new character. I'm just going to call it Test, similar to that one. And once we've done that, we can just go File, Open, and in my case, it'll be Player 1. Um, it'll probably just be the newest player. If you haven't renamed any of them, then it'll probably just be Player 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whichever is the biggest number. Um, I've renamed one mine to Lewis.Player, but um, you, you guys probably haven't. So, yeah, just open up Player 1 or whatever. And, of course, you can do things such as change your name, you know, change it to whatever the hell you want. I'm not going to do that. But before you do anything, you probably do want to click on Back here. Because I've had problems with, if I stay in that menu, it actually doesn't save, even if I do save. So, make sure you're back on this main menu, and then you can get editing your character. So, for example, if you wanted to have 1 HP and do a 1 HP challenge, all you do is change this here to 1. I don't know why I just changed that, that's the current HP. And this is, of course, the current mana. That's how you sometimes see people with more than 400 HP and 400 mana, it's just because they've used this program to cheat. Um, it is pretty good for making characters. You can see here, you can get um, quite a few colours, and very quick. And that's how people have things like black characters and stuff. You know, stuff you're obviously not supposed to have. But um, something people are asking me about is how in my Bomberman challenge, how did I have 999 Dynamite? Um, how I did that is simply just make Dynamite and then click on Max Stacks 9999. You can do that to anything. Uh, just ignore these bugs. It's because 1.1.2 just came out, so it's not actually up to date, but it still does work. It's just because it was um, the carrot added, which lets you get a pet bunny, so that's what that is there. I think, I don't know why the hell else would be something there. So once you do that, you just go File, Save, OK, and then you can go Single Player, Test, well, so you can see he's changed to a little black person. So you can't change the skin colour and all that kind of stuff really quickly. So I can see I've got 1 HP, so I would, of course, die from a small height. And I do have 999 Dynamite. Of course, if you do drop these, I'm pretty sure it only becomes 5. Oh no, apparently it stays as 9999. Um, well, if you were to drop... See, so you can't drop more than 5 of them because that's how many of the stack. So, you can't just restack or anything because obviously you're not supposed to have a stack this big. For T-Shock servers, you'd just be kicked saying that you had too much of a stack. I did 140 damage, wow. Well, either way, it probably would kill me from... Um, uh, you can see I've got 1 HP. I don't even have a heart because I've only got 1 HP. But you can change it to anything you want, you know. You know, 400 HP if you just want to... Cheat, be a dirty little cheater. You can have buffs, you know, make some buffs and you can give them for 30 minutes. That's as much as you can do. You can either do the uh, default game amount, which is for any skin 300 seconds, or you can just give them 30 minutes and you can just change whatever buffs you want. It's quite easy. It's really quite easy to know what exactly everything does. Of course, a bank is just everything that's contained in the bank for the character and in the safe for the character. Inventory is just for inventory. Um, what else? There's, a, there's equipment, which is of course just armor and stuff, so you can quite easily, you know, get full hallowed. And it does fill out all the stuff that you don't need. So as you can see, I've got full hallowed, got accessories, you can change your prefixes. Um, obviously, it's quite obvious that you're cheating if you do have um, something such as, I don't know, like a, what, what, let's have an example. So, like a, an ignorant Excalibur. You obviously can't get an ignorant Excalibur, so, because um, as you can see beside it, it's magic, so you can't have a because um, it's not a magic item, it's a melee item, so that wouldn't make any sense. But that's pretty much how you change all that kind of stuff. You know, you could say, give max stats. Well, obviously it won't work now. But you need to make sure the main thing, if you do have problems, is just make sure you're on this screen, then go file, save, okay. Otherwise, it probably will not work. As you can see, I've got my full armor now. 
just as easy as that and you can have you know whatever stacks you want you can see it's a bit buggy sometimes because obviously you're not supposed to have um actually i think this is because i put these in the wrong place yeah it's because i was supposed to put them down this way instead of um this way this way and then it's missed uh three here because i missed three here i think it looks like one two three yeah probably but yeah anyway thanks a lot for watching if you did find this video useful please remember to like subscribe and all that good stuff if you still had problems then I don't know, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to help you, but I think I did pretty much cover everything about editing the character and Troya. Oh god, what the hell's that? I'm some... Oh god, I've got, I've got um, gills, that was close. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.